All right, boys and girls, it's me, Dennis, for Multiloyal Photography. This is a creator's journey. And today, I'm here in American Samoa. Skies are partly cloudy, beautiful blue ocean, nice clear water. You can see the rocks and the corals. Well, I'm out here today because I want to go back to the five palm tree, try to capture long exposure. I know it's the middle of the day. I'm hoping that bringing my 10-stop ND filter, uh, I can come up with something decent. I'm going to be going just on the shore. I'm going to show you here real quick. So just kind of walking down the rocks. And um, we're going to go ahead and make it over the um, this small little climb, uh, a sketchy uh, cliffhanger moment, uh, if you will. Um, but it's, it's, it's nothing, no big deal. It's, it's nice. Um, and I can be showing you guys here what the actual walk looks like. Um, something to update you here in the life in Samoa. Um, I made a video hike uh, up the mountain and we went and visited um, some of the fales or houses that people used uh, back in the days. Um, they still have them available for emergencies so if they ever have to go up the mountain it's a really hard trip, especially for the elders. And while I said that, you know, to live here in Samoa, uh, even if you're homeless, you do have a house, and that's true. And, you know, the, the land and the ocean provides food for the people. Um, but there's other things that you have to consider as well. And one of the things that the Samoan culture has is, um, they have falabelaves, which are like, you know, kind of like a special uh, events to kind of help, you know, for funerals, weddings and, and things like that. And, and sometimes can, can provide a burden to the people, especially when they're not making a lot of dollars. Um, and so I, I find that a little challenging. I, I hope that this video doesn't offend anybody because uh, I'm speaking about part of the culture. Um, but, you know, I, as, as much as I remember from the history and the culture that I've learned and studied from the Samoan people, um, you know, back in the days before there was money, before there was paper, um, people went up the mountain, they gathered all the breadfruit, coconuts, and they made these big feasts. And uh, the women would uh, weave, you know, the, the palm leaves and make a nice, beautiful mats that, you know, they can lay down and and they will decorate those mats and then they will give those as, as part of a, of a gift or as a sign of respect um, to another person. Um, and, you know, there was no money, there was no paper. So everything was really exchanging mats, exchanging, you know, uh, certain items that you would go and gather naturally. Um, and nowadays, you know, um, currency has become more and more uh, of a priority for people. And I don't think that's a bad thing, um, but when people are not making that much, uh, it, it does create a, a burden. So those are some of the things that you have to um, think about if you intend to live in Samoa. Now I know that there are some places where um, you can buy land, build a house, um, and be separate from that. Now, I personally love um, being in the village, if at some point, you know, in life I, I go and get some land or buy a house somewhere else, uh, I'm going to appreciate that too. I, I like my privacy, but um, there's always a way to make things work. And if there's one thing that I've learned is in the States, you can be really tight with money and then you get more money, but you still seem to be tight with money. Uh, I think there's a lack of budgeting that most of us need to learn to, um, to do. Um, and, you know, the difference over there is like, you know, you can buy a house uh, and, and it's yours, but you still have to pay taxes every month, every year. And if you stop paying those taxes, if they pile up and eventually you can lose that land, you can lose the house. So it truly never is yours. To where here, if you acquire land, and obviously you don't owe money to the bank for loans and things like that. 
the house will never be taken away from you. And that's um, something that is, I think is special over here. It, it helps. There's no taxes over here. Um, and um, as small as American Samoa is, it's a very beautiful place. Um, and I've enjoyed it so far. So hopefully on the, this small blog, you guys are enjoying the views that I'm enjoying. And um, when I go back to the States, I'm gonna have some really great memories. And of course the goal is to come back over here, but this time I wanna come back with my wife and my kids. I love the place here, but without my wife and my kids, it's kind of empty to me. Um, nonetheless, while I'm here, I'm enjoying, I'm admiring the beauty that God has created for us. There's some spectacular waves that come here once in a while. I think I'm gonna sit here for a little bit and try to record some. Hopefully we get something nice. Uh, if not, we'll just continue with the hike to the Five Palm Rock, which I'm still not quite sure what the name of the actual rock is, but um, we're going to continue on. So my idea was to go down the coast, back to the Five Palm Rock, but my little brother Luva came and saw me over there waiting for another guy that was going with us, never showed up. And we decided to go a different route. Now, we were gonna go and take a picture of um, some sea stacks that are a little bit more um, north. Northwest, I think, is the location, and um, the high tide was coming in, so we weren't able to um, get to the spot where we need to be to actually get the side of the mountain uh, that we needed to get. So we decided to come on a climb to this village called Poloa, and they have a nice little fale where you can oversee the sea, and it looks beautiful. So I'm going to try to capture an image here. In the meantime, let me show you what I'm talking about. Look at that business. Beautiful. So I'm recording with the Canon M50 and um, I'm using the 11 to 17 millimeter um, kit lens that I bought. And I am glad that I did because so far it has, been, it has paid off big time. So I'm gonna go ahead and capture some images over here. All right guys, so my setup here is I have my 5D Mark II, as you guys already know, and I'm using the 24 um, to 70 Tamron lens 2.8. Although, because I am trying to capture the whole view, partial of the ocean, I wanna get this coconut uh, palm trees, I wanna get the mountain in the back, and I wanna get somewhat in focus here, uh, the Amangabe village down below. So my settings um, that I have right now, it's actually, I have a uh, polarizing filter. Um, I, I don't have a need to use my 10 stop right now. Uh, light is perfect over here, it looks good. I mean, it's a little bit uh, bright over the uh, greenery and the uh, tops of the houses and stuff, but I think that should be okay. I have set my camera to 1 25th of a second, F9, and that should give me almost perfect focus from all the way from the top of the mountain all the way to as close as these palm trees that I have in front of me so let's take a shot and see what happens I also put a 10 second timer because I brought my wireless remote with no batteries nonetheless I think the picture is gonna come out great that looks pretty good so Here's a picture that I just took. Look at that. That is just gorgeous. Beautiful. Um, I did take a shot. Um, I took this shot right here more to the left than where I am right now. Um, and the reason why I changed the, um, the location of the shot is because I was inside this um, small fale. Let me show you what that looks like. That's a small fale, a small house and they have those all the way around uh, throughout the whole island. 
Some of them are like, you know, used for bus stops. Um, a lot of the villages um, have them in front of the village so that they can go out, sit down, relax, and just enjoy uh, the beautiful waves crashing in. Something that I really enjoy myself. And even though I haven't got a chance to get out throughout the island and everything, I've done the hike. Um, I spend a lot of time on the shore in front of the village. And then other than that, I just been soaking it all in, you know, just enjoying nature. And um, I think I might have lost a few pounds. Don't quote me. <laughs> I think I lost a, a couple of pounds. Okay. Somewhere, uh, not maybe not around here in the front area, but somewhere I've lost a couple of pounds. Uh, so yeah, let's see uh, what else we got. I, um, we actually had to come up. So from where I showed you, here, let me uh, point it out, see if, see if it does any justice to the big old hike that we had to take up here. So we walked from behind, see if I can focus over there. We walked from behind the hill up there. We came all the way through here, and then there's a big old hill to come up and around to where we are over here. But I gotta say, after looking at that view, man, so worth it. I think we've driven through here before, but I never really paid attention to the actual view. Uh, it's just spectacular, I think. Very pretty. And let me see if you can, um, I don't have a big long range lens lens on, on this camera, but let me see if I can focus a little bit closer. I don't know if you can see it here, but right down here, you can kind of see the coral reefs and some rocks. Uh, the water is very clear, looks very nice, very, very pretty.